Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and we have to save the Yoshis for real. And... What the heck is this guy? Well, once again, Luigi's being a big scaredy cat. Did he do that for the last big boss? No, I don't really think so, not at all. You know, we were just posing and everything, and we spent like hundreds of dollars on those flashing lights behind us, and then Luigi's going to go and chicken out, wow. Way to go, man. Uh, don't tell me. No, stop it, Luigi. Come on now. Even your baby form is more courageous than you. He's not running away. Although then again, he probably doesn't really know what's going on. And oh, hey, it's baby Bowser. What great timing. So should we jump on him and make him barf up the Cobalt Star Shards again? Well, no. Instead, we have boss time. Well, boss time without the pause. Okay, so first off, he has that inhaling attack, which you need to hammer him in order to stop it. Uh, not going to do a whole lot of damage, and wow, way to go me messing up that command. But you want to do is attack all of these eggs and free the Yoshis inside, and they'll bring a chomp rock out. And once you free enough of them, they will actually push that chomp rock off and knock this guy down. Because right now, he has very high defense. Uh, so it's going to be really difficult to hurt him until you can get the Yoshis to push down the Chomp Rocks and do actual damage to him after that. I mean, as you're going to see, I'm going to go ahead and just use an Ice Flower just because there are no more eggs to destroy. And we're going to do only about 35. Now keep in mind that's a Bros item, and that should be doing like around 50 or so. But, <clears throat> excuse me. This attack's very easy to dodge. What's really annoying, though, is he could very well use up all of your eggs. And way to go Mario again, missing that jump. Come on now, man. You've been doing this for like 10 years now. Also, I attacked the wrong egg. Luckily, it broke free, and we freed the blue Yoshi. Nice. So there we go. That's three of them. And unfortunately, it's going to get rid of my partially broken one. Or rather, it's going to hit me in the face. Uh, so yeah, only only 10 damage. We should be doing a whole lot more to him right now. So just to go ahead, waste some time, wait for him to make more eggs. There we go. Okay, but that's pretty much it for all of his attacks. He doesn't do much else until he's on his back and fallen over. But by then, he won't be as dead. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This guy's name is Sun Sunny Side too, which is kind of funny because... Well, sunny side eggs. Haha, -ha, get it? Ah, clever Nintendo. Now, aw, oh, come on, Luigi. Don't follow in your brother's footsteps right now. Okay, well, maybe he... Well, he shouldn't use all five, so I might be okay. Once you get five Yoshis on that thing, then you can push it off. You could probably use a bros item or two to break them all out at once, like use a bros flower or two. And that would do enough damage to break out all five Yoshis. In fact, I never thought of that. Uh, either way, there we go. He is now on his back. And while on his back, he will pull a rope. If he has the uh, like little tightrope thing, then he will turn out the lights and call forth a boo, which will then go to attack you, maybe. Uh, or... If it's a chained one, he will actually cause a hole to form under you, and you have to jump over that. It's kind of like Cacletta's. Well, you'll see it right here. Yep. Oh, I missed. But yeah, you just want to jump right when it's about to open up. So there you go. And now, because there's that other egg there, I'm not going to use the ice flowers, although it would be really helpful to decrease his defense and stuff. I'm pretty sure it would do that. As well as also free one of the Yoshis already. So we'd have another rock almost set up. But I don't want to waste time here, so I'm just going to do what I can and hope it it's enough. Also, I love it when the four cannonballers go all around in a circle, pretty much. Okay, another boo. This is really easy to dodge because it seems like he stops like right in front of you. And he's back up again. You knock me down, but I'd get up again. You're never going to keep me down except... <clears throat> no, excuse me. He just kind of ate Luigi and healed a little bit of health, not that much. And he doesn't do that attack very often. I mean, he opened up the battle with it, and then he just used it right there. And, well, he just doesn't do that a lot. Again, Luigi, come on now, bros. Wow, you're 
really failing at this, and wow, he's doing that a lot more. Good, he's not wasting my eggs now. No, just because I'm going to make Luigi finish off that egg. So take that, Luigi. And there we go, we have one Yoshi going now. It's a green one, nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and finally break that one open with a useless lucky hit. Thank you so much, Luigi. Okay, well, there we go, we got two there now. Only two more to go, and he's throwing my eggs now. He better not get rid of all of them. Ah, stop it. Aww. Are you going to make more? Nope. Okay, time to waste my turn again. As you can see, this guy can take a while. Probably the longest boss in the game. Well, I mean, there is the final boss, but that's supposed to be long. And even so, it isn't... I feel like if you play your cards right and use the right stuff, it won't be as quick. Also, if you get hit, will he stop throwing eggs? That seems to be happening here, I'm not entirely sure. So maybe just purposely get hit by one, then use an item to heal that up if you need to, and proceed to breaking eggs? I don't know. It's a possibility. Okay, well there we go, we now have four of our Yoshis, we only need one more. Come on guys, put your backs into it for once, to save the rest of you. Also, I feel like I must, uh, point out that it's the same four Yoshis being captured, well, same five Yoshis being captured every single time. Because, I mean, look, they're all the same colors. And there we go. We hit him down again, we knocked him down. We're going to keep him down this time, hopefully, and, well, kill him. I hope. This battle's been going on for a while now. It's definitely one of, definitely one of the longest ones there is. So, again, let's spam cannonballers. That's one thing about this game, well, then again. That's one thing about the uh, Mario & Luigi games in general, is that you spam... I'm not even going to say anything. I was... Watch, he really had, like, five health left. And I could've just jumped on him once when he was standing up and I could've killed him. Something tells me that that was right, but even so, I was only one attack away. But I didn't waste time to heal. Wait a minute, that heal was when he was up, never mind. Well, still. What was I talking about earlier before I got kinda mad? Um. Shoot. Oh yeah, in the Mario and Luigi games, you're going to be using bros items quite a bit, or whatever the equivalent is. Oh god, baby Bowser, we kind of need you. Okay, well, yeah, you're going to be using bros items quite a bit, but then again, it, it's kind of like all RPGs. I mean, you just spam the same spell or limit break or whatever it may be. Okay, so he's going to go get the rest of the eggs, and we're going to leave here, but how are we going to leave? How? I ask you, how? Uh, oh, oh, god, oh, ah. Uh, oh, man, that's awful. Good thing this game isn't graphic. Otherwise, Mario, Luigi, and the babies would be covered in poo. Oh my god. Yeah, Luigi, take those hits like a champ. Okay, so wait, let me get this straight. One little shrewbling will bring Luigi down to 1 HP. But then he can take five e large eggs and a toad to the head and he's okay? What? I mean, granted, he's gotten stronger and he's increased his defense, but still... Wow, Luigi, way to... You were really weak before. Now you're only somewhat weak. And also, it looks like you've shut down, and he's still clinging onto that mountain, I find that funny. I don't think he ever really falls off. I mean, the screen just blacks out with him right there, and then you never know what happened to him. So there we go, we have completed the Yub Saga, basically. Although we have yet to finish up Yoshi's Island, we still have one little thing to do, which is more of a cutscene than anything. And well, here it is. Ah, baby Bowser, we still need the Crystal Star sh er, not Crystal, God. We still need the Cobalt Star Shards from you. And well, apparently he has tricked all of the Yoshis into thinking that he was the one that helped them, even though he was stuck in an egg the entire time. Yes, the babies are going to steal all of your cookies again. Yeah, well, see, the problem is about baby Bowser is that the- Oh, wait, the pile is shrinking, never mind. Well, you just ate all of them. Maybe now he'll barf up the Cobalt Star Shards. Maybe. That would- Oh, God, I was right. Oh, God, I don't know if I want them now. 
Oh man, that's that's kind of really gross. Oh, what what is going on? Oh god. So apparently the Cobalt Star Shards are at least somewhat sentient, and the Yoshis think that he can fly. And the babies got the Cobalt Star Shards back. So there we go, we are now two. Again, we have uh, five or six more to go, technically six, I guess. But what, really just five. So there we go. And now we can finally return to our own time and talk to the professor, which is pretty much what you do after every single level. Also, here's Toadbert. And he's explaining what really happened because he wasn't trapped in an egg. I like how they can understand the Yoshis, even though they're talking in parentheses, so I'm guessing they're either ta talking in their own language, or they're thinking or something, I don't know. I mean, all that they're saying is Yoshi. Pretty sure Yoshis can't talk. Well, well then again, there was, um, spoiler alert for like the next 10 seconds, there was Yoshi on top of, uh, Princess Peach's castle, so I guess he can talk, so... I don't know. Okay, spoiler alert over. Although then again, if you heard that spoiler alert over, you would have been listening originally, so... I don't know. Well, there we go. That's it for Yoshi's Island. And I didn't get my little reference of baby Ma Mario trying to ride Yoshi or something like that. As well as a couple of other things like Yoshi saying like, Hey, don't I recognize you or something like that? Would've just been so neat if they mentioned that, but oh well. They still had tons of others, like if you didn't notice, Sunnyside's little cursor was actually like the cursor that you used to throw eggs in Yoshi's Island, I forgot to mention that. And also that was used in Superstar Saga as well. So maybe, just maybe it'll be in the third game, I actually don't remember, I'm pretty sure not though, so never mind. Don't listen to this old fool. Okay, well, we're going to buy some more gear. We have the shell slacks and the egg pants. Oh my god, that's a huge increase to defense. That would be awesome. Luigi gets a whole 40 points. Wow, I mean, that's partially because I didn't get the branded slacks for them, but, but still. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and get the egg pants for baby Luigi. He will also get a pretty large increase in defense. Okay, um, nothing really that great. Actually, Big Pal sounds really good. I think I might just get a couple of those. In fact, I will. So, oh, why did I only buy one? Oh well. You probably want to buy two of those and use them for boss battles because you're going to be using bros items a lot. And, well, you're if you use those bros items, then you're going to be getting a lot of greats, and you'll get an increase to power, which means you'll be doing more damage with those bros items. So overall, it's just really good. I r would really suggest getting at least two. And also, we got two more bros items that we can buy in the shop, but right now they're really expensive, so I'm going to skip out on them for now, besides we're going to be finding some uh, f ones and question blocks soon enough in the next world. So let's go ahead, sell all of our Useless stuff, keep... Well, sell one of the shroom badges, keep the big pow badge. Might just buy another with my newly increased funds. In fact, I will. It's a really good badge, honestly. You'll see its power soon enough. It's part of my boss destroying, boss destroying strategy. It's. I'm pretty sure it's actually my first time using these badges. I don't think I even paid that much attention at, at all to badges before. None of them just really seemed useful, but now I am, and I'm going to get some pretty good results, if I may say, but we're not going to see that yet. And yes, we do have our Cobalt Star Shards back, and that Toadbert drawing as well, our only key item. It's kind of... kind of dirty. Oh well, that can't be anything important. I mean, maybe Toadbert, like, soiled his pants while Princess Shrew was attacking. And, well, he didn't have any toilet paper, so, well, gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, well, yeah, we have our plan. Collect the Cobalt Star Shards, but that's what we've already been doing. And, oh, hello there. That one's electrocuting. We should stay away from that one. Oh, so that one leads to the Castle of the Past. Interesting. 
Well, we're going to save that for later, because we kind of don't have our uh, Cobalt Star yet. We only have two of the pieces. So we're going to need to wait for now, but as you can see, the uh, Toadsworth faces are flashing, which means they have yet another move. And a crying baby, and oh my god, what are they doing? I don't think that the older Toadsworth is limber enough to do that. Although then again, he isn't shouting. He is shouting, oh, the pain. So apparently not. Younger Toadsworth, you're going to give yourself such back problems in the future. And you're only increasing them right now. And my god, look at them go. Wow. Way to go, you just killed yourself in the future. At least you know when you die, so you can... Uh, complete your entire bucket list before you do. And it seems like, once again, we have a plan and we want to use what they just use. So, just something, what, whatever they're thinking, the burrows just think like, hey, this just might be useful. Being able to roll around in a ball, just maybe. And well, it just happened to be. Oh, hey, he's not dead. Oh, however, he is willing to die, so... Oh god. Better not. Oh jeez, so that's why it's called the Bros Ball. I did not get it. Okay, so... When you press the L button in order to get... Please do keep the jokes to yourself. Oh god. D did Nintendo really say something like that? Wow. Oh, R button, my bad. So yeah, press the R button. Keep the jokes to yourself. Keep the jokes to yourself. Honestly, it's a really cool move. I really like it. Probably the best uh, field move in the game. Just because you can go faster and has a whole bunch of uses. And just really neat. I mean, look at that. In what games can you roll up into a ball and roll around? Metroid. But that's besides the point. Oh gee, I wonder what I have to do. Maybe use that move that I just learned in the tutorial for that move? Yeah. So we can roll up into a ball and go through passageways like this. That are slightly too short for even the babies. So there we go. Yes, we will use this technique to our advantage. No, we just learned it because we thought it would be fun. Oh, okay. So the viewing platform. Perhaps we need to go there next? And there's another time hole there. Yes, I do think that we need to go there next. What about it? Oh, really? Spin things! Well, isn't that what the spin jump is for? I don't know. And, well, it's going to immediately be useful in a place right here in the castle, because... Apparently, well, that useless room is now going to be useful. So let's go ahead and go over there and check out what that is. You remember those beans that we've been getting? We're about to find out how they're used. Uh, next part, but, well... We're opening up the reason right here. So let's go ahead and throw the babies because we don't need them, and roll up into a ball and power up this generator. This is one of the main uses of the bros ball as well as getting through passageways and stuff. But in the next part we will check out this pipe, so I will see you all then. Goodbye.